Alright guys, this is going to be a video tutorial about how to get SpoonWPA.LZM file onto a Backtrack 3 live CD. Um, there's going to be three things you're going to need. You're going to need uh, a way of burning the, the, I the ISO image once you've downloaded the uh, Backtrack 3 final from Remote Exploit. And you're also going to need the uh, SpoonWP a LZM link which I'll have here in the description. Okay. First of all, download the remote exploit backtrack three final. It's gonna take a while. But once you do that, you should just have something that looks like this. If you have WinRAW, it'll be in this. If not, it might be whatever kind of C D looking thing if you have like Neuro seven. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do after you get that is you're gonna need to download Ultra ISO uh, and get the full licensing. Uh, for it. If you don't have the full licensing, you're only going to have a 300 megabyte limit for being able to save and burn. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there. I'm not going to have any description, but do a little homework. Get ISO or Ultra ISO uh, full licensing. Okay. And once you do that, what you do, you go to your Backtrack 3 final. Oh, yeah, and you're going to need to download the Spoon WPA LZM file, which I'll have the link for. Uh, but once you get all three of those, you go here and you go open, right click on it, go to open with Ultra ISO after you have it installed. And once you do that, it should pop up like this. Okay. And I'm just going to navigate to where I have it. Go to my documents. Okay, backtrack three final ISO. Okay. Once you good once you click on that, you should see two things. You see the boot and the W in the BT3 file. Okay double click on the BT3 file. They say to put it in your models, but I put it in my base. So we're open up our base and we see all these .lzm files. Okay. Scroll down to the bottom and then over here on the bottom part, I want you to navigate to where you have the uh, the Spoon WPA download saved at. I have it on my flash drive, so I'm going to open up my flash drive. Okay. And this is what you should get. And all you got to do is just simply drag that from there to here. And I renamed mine just in lowercase so it looks like everything else there. So if you want to, you can. It worked for me. If you want to do the exact steps that I did. Okay. SWPA. And hit enter. Okay. Now it looks like just like everything else with all these LZM files. And we're in our base, not our models. It worked for me in my base. It may work for you in your models. Somebody told me to put it in my models. And I spent two days figuring out I needed it in my base to work. Okay. Then you're only going to go up to here. And you're going to go file name to save it under. Try not to use any other file name for your Backtrack 3 or 4 ISO. Um, so I have just called mine BT2 uh, and, and hit save. I'm not going to save it because it's already there on mine. If you don't have the full uh, licensing download, it's going to say cannot save over 300 megabytes. You need to get the, the licensing key. But there are plenty of videos on on YouTube. I'm not going to go into how to get Ultra ISO. Just watch another video on that. And once you do that, you're going to have. Let me get rid of this. No. You're going to have a file. Uh, let's see if it's in my flash drive or not. It says I named mine Backtrack Two. And one way you can tell is the original files is 711 kilobytes. And after you do it, it's going to be uh, 700 and it's not here. It must be in my uh, my documents. I'll show this. It's going to be 713 kilobytes once you're done. Oops, there it is, BT2. And then you just right-click on whatever file to make check and make sure. We're going to make sure that the LZM Spoon W LZM or the Spoon W EP2, whichever one you download. I don't have a link for that one, but I got the WPA one. Open it with Ultra ISO. Okay. Minimize this. It's going to take a second or two. So just hang in there, guys. But what we're doing with this is we're just checking to see if the, the LZM file is in the new ISO that we downloaded. Okay, now we're in here, and automatically it's open. For some reason, it's opened up to my models because I've been here before, but if not, just navigate to your BT3 uh, file, then go to your base, and look in here, and what we're looking for, okay, it's in there. And then what we're going to want to do now is hit this little flaming burn thing up here. 
click on that and you see here that's the file you want to pick out so you can click in here if you want and navigate to the whatever you named your file you want vt2 okay click open or if it's already on there like it was with mine because you're you've checked uh, all you gotta do is click burn and just put a disk in there burn hope you guys enjoyed the video if there's a problem uh, contact me and I'll try to help you fix it rate and subscribe thanks for watching and hope it helps